This afternoon I decided to start working on our little wren house. Um, this is normally hanging in the backyard, completely full from previous inhabitants. And so I've already gone ahead and taken off the bottom. There we go. That's what the interior looks like. And let's see what we need to do to it. There's a few things that need to be fixed. A little feather. I think wrens are probably my favorite bird. They're super cute. They're tiny. Um, they have kind of little attitudes too, which is kind of cute. I think I've decided that I'm gonna have to do a little bit more repair work on this than I wanted to. Um, as I pulled this up, there's a lot of damage on that wood. Um, but the cool thing about this is I can use this wood, these dimensions of the template. So, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some wood and we're going to take this little guy apart um, and um, make some new pieces. As I've been prying this off, I'm noticing a lot more damage um, to a lot of places in here. So this may very well just may rebuild the whole thing. It might be kind of fun. It might be... Um, kind of a good experience to make a couple of these too. Put one in the front yard. Um, I was talking to my dad one day and I said, you know, maybe I'll put a couple of wren houses back there. And he said, nope, can't do that because <laughs> they like their own territory. So, and I, I do get that. I, I've sat and watched them enough that they definitely do want to do their own little things. Okay, so I pried this the rest of the way off. I had really like one good nail, this one right here. Um, was anchoring this this roof on here. Um, the rest of it had pretty much deteriorated wood-wise. Um, so you just take this off. You can kind of see the underside of it. Here's what's left, and I'm this is kind of what I'm questioning. I'm looking at you know this wear right here. I'm wondering if we should just go ahead and rebuild this whole little house. So I'm going to tear the rest of it apart. Um, and I'm going to see, um, see what we can do wood-wise. So I've got my two top pieces here. See, I lost a big chunk out of this one. Um, That's my roof. Oop. That's my bottom. There's the front. And then actually both sides were in decent shape, but I think I'm still going to retire this one. And then there's the back. Again, this was in okay shape too, but seeing better days. Crispy. And there's the shingle that I am definitely going to replace. Okay, so I have this scrap piece of wood here that I used for another project that I think I'm going to go ahead and get some pieces out of. Um, I'll go ahead and get the bottom and the two sides out of it. I've got another scrap of wood that I'll get some more pieces out of. Okay, so I went ahead and I've squared up the sides into a corner um, with a scrap bit of wood. And all I'm gonna do is we're just gonna use the current wood as a template. And I do want to make sure that this hole, apparently, I, one of those things that my dad has told me over the years, that the holes need to be just the right size for wrens. So, I, I'm sure that probably has some truth to it, but I'm also a little bit skeptical, because, you know, dads tend to 
tell us things when we're young to uh, get us to do things a certain way. So I do it with my daughter. I totally do. Sorry, Glenn. Okay, so this one I do with two hands, so it was a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, I just did, I just put them all together, drew my line here, 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 and then one by one, I just took the pieces off, drew the line here, and drew a line here. So that was super easy, and um, without all of the pieces, there it is. Um, now on these, um, since I've got a couple of the longer pieces for the roof that I'm using here, um, I am going to label this as bottom, just so I remember. Um, and then the sides are the same, so they'll just, they'll be fine. So side, side. Okay. A couple years ago, I can't remember if it was for birthday or Christmas or whatever, but I got this handy little um, drill that um, comes with a bunch of different pieces to it and I just love this little circular saw so nice job there Black and Decker. <laughs> okay so I've got everything front back Side, side, bottom, top, and I've got another top over here. So now I'm going to swap out and um, I'm going to see if I can get a hole saw on this too um, so we can cut that little guy out. Okay, so found the hole saw. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, get this little tiny baby hole drawn and drawn. Um, cut in here so our little bird friends can get in. Um, now we are going to drill uh, a small hole here because we're eventually going to put just a small stick in there for a little perch for them. Um, and I'll probably enlarge that too but anyway there's the uh, there's the front of the house. So it's something that I've just kind of played around with um, because you're not supposed to use any adhesives or anything. <clears throat> just using uh, <clears throat> just your basic um, fastener. Uh, they are not the ones that were originally used on the house because I just don't think that they're probably um, any good at this point. They're so rusted and everything. So these are... Uh, one and a quarter inch, um, just basic nails. You can kind of see I'm just popping them through um, just a little bit, and then that's going to be easier to tie in um, to the uh, to the side here. So what I've done at this point is I've just gone ahead and taken these corners down on the inside and outside, um, just with a plain palm sander. Um, just since my corners were up a little bit too high um, on the sides, so I just wanted to make sure that my um, roof was going to fit a little bit better. So now we're at the point that we're going to attach the other side of the house. Um, I have seen a lot of houses that have gone ahead and done that, so there's a seam up on top. But since we're going to go ahead and put a shingle on, I'm going to leave almost like.
like a small, I guess it's almost like a ridge vent type of thing for these little guys. Um, so it'll end up looking like that when we're done. And now we're going to attach the bottom. So we'll do the same thing that we've been doing. Um, Pre-drilling. Uh, actually, there's what it looks like with the top on all the way. Um, and I will go ahead and pre-drill holes in the bottom like I did uh, throughout the rest of it just to make it easier. And then we need to find a small little, I'm just going to find a twig um, to go in here for the little perch. For the perch, all I did was take a small twig, cut it down a little bit, and then I sanded one end of it to make sure that it would fit in the hole. And then I ended up pounding it in a little bit with a hammer just to make sure that it would stay. Now that we have the perch in, um, I have decided that I'm going to do something different on the bottom because I do want to empty this out every year um, after the birds leave. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a couple screws and I'm going to do one on this end and one on this end. So the other thing is these are self-tapping screws. Um, they're self-drilling. They have a very sharp tip on the end. but just because I'm attaching two surfaces here and it's kind of wonky since I don't have it in a vise or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill. I've pre-drilled my holes. And it's super close to the edge, so that's another part why I decided to pre-drill. And there, is our wonky little birdhouse. Not perfect. But there's the house. Now it's time to go grab a shingle for the roof. I did go and grab some shingles. Um, I am gonna cut these down a little bit, but I just wanna show you. Um, I will go ahead and cut here. And then there's also going to be, there's going to be quite a bit of overhang, so I'll, I'll make a cut here also. Okay, so the only thing that we have left to do now is to go ahead and attach our little shingle. That's going to be awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple nails in the sides down here on each side okay and the last things to do are install our little hooks up on the top of the house this is actually down into the wood if we're able to see up in there, but anyway, I um, I just hammered it a little bit in there before I had to get it a good start, and then we're actually going to go a little bit up here so it won't so it'll be just more stable as it hangs in the tree. Let's better look at it, so it'll be here, and then I'm going to put one over here so. And then this was my original hanger from the old house. So all we do is just reattach. And there. There's our little Wren refurbished house. Hopefully this will last for many, many years.